It's a little short video showing you how to import ExamView test into Blackboard. This is ExamView, and what's important to note is this is ExamView test generator, not uh, the bank editor. Um, when you first open up, you get this little wizard, and it tells you or asks you what you want to open up. Um, do you want to create a new one uh, from scratch? Do you want to use a wizard to create one? I am going to open one that I just worked on. Um, and it's a test I just made for maintenance management. I made this test and basically just create, do a control N to create a new question. And it gives you all these different types of questions to, to create. Um, the majority of them are going to be true, false, multiple choice, or matching. It's um, especially powerful to make matching questions in exam view because it's difficult to do on Blackboard. But just for now, I'm just going to show you how to make a true and false in a multiple uh, choice. True and false is easy enough. You click OK. And, um, you know, trees are green. The bottom down here. You see, the, you have to put the answer is true. And click record. And then I want to create a multiple choice question. So I can do it a different way. Instead of hitting control N, I just do um, question new um, multiple choice. And this is going to take a little longer. So I'm going to just say, you know, um, my favorite. So I'm just going to continue on here, fill this in a little bit. Well, paused. And then. Uh, and it's a strange guy. So the real answer is mustard, which is choice D. You have the number of choices you enter here. You can have five if you want. You can have even up to eight. Um, but let's just go back to our original four. Uh, these are the number of choices. The answer is D. That's what it is by default. But I could have said that A is. Um, you can select that here or up here. Again, let's make mustard our answer. Record. And now we have uh, two additional questions answered to this guy. If I want to add images, um, you can add images to um, the questions as well. The handles a lot easier than on Blackboard again. It's just a much easier way of doing this. But for the sake of this, sh keep this video short, I'll show you now how to export this. And what's key to remember is that you're working in a an exam view test builder, not um, the test bank editor. You notice here, switch to test uh, question bank editor. Um, you don't want to be working in that guy. I found that not to be the most reliable way to get questions into Blackboard. But what you do want to do at this point is export. And for right now, it's just Blackboard 7.1 plus. Um, I've created a folder just for exports. And it creates a zip file. And you, you want to copy the name of the test. This is just an example test. What I do here is copy this guy, just Control C, because you're going to have to fill it in a couple times. Uh, and I just hit Control V, Control V, Control V. This fills in fields in Blackboard. Um, so I've just pasted the title of the test in these few spots here. Leave these to the defaults, and then click OK. And now I'm going to go to my web browser and click on Blackboard and log in. And let's go to the class where I want to import this. Um, go into maintenance management. I'm going go into the control panel. And then to test manager. And here in test manager are all the all the tests that are in there for this course. You notice there's a, another page. So there's 39 total tests in this course right now. Um, I'm going to import, and I'm going to browse to that file that I created earlier. And it was example test. I browse to it. 
I submit. And it says test import complete. It's important to read this because if you made any mistakes on it, this is where it'll tell you. And it'll tell you in fine print down here um, the operation um, import has completed. Click OK. And should be at the bottom of this page. Here it is, example test. Here I can modify this guy to make sure that I've got the right settings set up on it. By default, it comes up in with these settings. Let me zoom in a bit here. Hope you can still read that. Um, if I want to modify any one of the questions, um, I just do that. Click on modify, um, and I can modify individual questions. Um, creation settings let you change the like the default value of uh, points per question. Um, and what the students actually see. Um, like add images if you've um, not, if you've uh, submitted images with the tests you've imported, you definitely want to click on these fields um, and click submit. Okay. That's importing a quiz. That's not deployed now. This isn't deployed in any section of the, of the site, uh, the Blackboard site. It's just in the uh, control panel Let's zoom in here. Test manager. Control panel test manager. That's it.